Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking the question really four months for assaulting a Thai police officer. I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Thai Examiner, that's thaiexaminer.com. Article is titled, New Zealand Day Brothers Have Landed Back Home in Their Own Country After Four Months in Detention. Two middle-aged New Zealand brothers returned home after spending four months detained in Thailand for a violent assault on a Phuket police officer in March. Their release involving New Zealand government cooperation comes as a shock in Thailand. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, shock is kind of the word I'm using here. Quoting further, news from New Zealand on Saturday revealing the release of two middle-aged brothers involved in the serious assault of a policeman in Phuket is bound to come as a shock in Thailand. At length, the two men detained for the past four months have been charged with the serious assault of an on-duty police officer. No statement has, has yet been made by Thai authorities, but it is understood the release of the men involved, I think they mean, had something to do with the cooperation of the New Zealand government. Quoting further, back in March, the assault on the policeman had royal local public feelings on the resort island, coming after a series of controversies linked with the misbehavior of foreigners. Yeah, we've called that sort of foreigners behaving badly. It, yeah, we saw a spate of this stuff. I'm really surprised these folks have been released and sent back to New Zealand. I have to imagine they're blacklisted, but I, I, I don't exactly know what the underlying thinking was regarding this release. I, you know, there is some level here in Thailand where on some level there's, there's sort of a thought process that goes, well, do we really want to spend a bunch of time and local resources on detaining folks or do we just want to get rid of them? There, there may have been some of that going on, sort of a kind of an almost exile kind of, kind of mentality. Let's just exile them and they can't ever come back. That said, you know, it, it does send a very mixed message, for lack of a better term, in terms of how, you know, law, the law, the rule of law, law enforcement is maintained or practiced here in Thailand. You know, again, I, I find this very odd that they spent that little amount of time detained. Again, I, it's my understanding they haven't even had an adjudication in the matter. So exactly how this went down and what was happening, again, I, I don't even claim to understand it. Maybe we'll get some more insight as time moves on. We'll certainly keep people updated on this channel as the situation evolves.